Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah The question was asked about uh, tashahud and the uh, what to say during the tashahud and the tashahud al-awwal wa wal-akhir the two tashahuds uh, in the prayer and first beginning with tashahud al-awwal we have to know that, as many of the ulama mentioned, it is from the wajibat of salat. And if you miss this uh, wajib from the wajibat of salat, then it is wajib to make sajda to saho. And that means if you miss it, miss it unintentionally, not intentionally, of course. If you miss it intentionally, this, you know, will uh, falsify your prayer. But if you miss it unintentionally, then at the end of the prayer you will make sajda to saho the two uh the two sujuds to compensate for what you missed and in this regard the uh, the way the the tashahud is pronounced or the alfad or the sid of the tashahud what we say during the tashahud uh, there are three of the most authentic narrations with regards to what to say during the tashahud al-awwal the first one the first uh, is that a person says at-tahiyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibatu assalamu alayka ayyu nabi Warahmutullahi wa barakatu. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibad Allah is salihin. A shadow in la ilahi lawah. Wa shadow in Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. This comes, so that means that it's permissible to say this, to say this, and this comes from the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala. Qal kunna nakul atayatu salat, wa nusammi. So the Prophet said in the hadith of uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu uh, where he said that how they used to make the tahi, uh, the, the tahiyat uh, for salat and that they used to greet one another and the Prophet sallallahu heard this and then he corrected them with that version of the uh, the tashahud the second way is by saying atahiyatu al mubarakat as salawat al tayyibat lillah assalamu alayka ayyuha an nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah as salihin ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah so this is the second way which is permissible is jaiz so this al amr wasi that means you can do either one of these. Uh, and this, the dalil for this one, is from the hadith of Ibn Abbas, uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, anhu qal, kana rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yu'allamana at-tashahud kama yu'allamana as-sura min al-Qur'an. Fakana yuku at-tahiyatu al-mubarakat, as-salawat al-tayyibat lillahi, Assalamu alayka ayyuha nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadallahi salihin Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah And this is in uh, Sahih Muslim And the first narration that we mentioned uh, which had it uh, the tahiyat or the tashahud is the hadith of Abdullah bin Mas'ud and that is in uh, Bukhari and Muslim the third way is by saying atahiyatu at-tayyibatu as-salawatu lillah 
السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله uh, and this comes from the hadith of uh, Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'anhu fa'an Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'anhu qal qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa idha kana indal ka'adati fal yakun min awal al-qawl ahadikum atahiyatu at-tayyibatu salawatu as-salawatu lillahi السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. so all three of those are uh, from authentic hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. and the last hadith that I mentioned was in uh, Sahih Muslim. Uh, another important the scholars they differ also about the Salat al-Ibrahimiyya okay Allahumma salli ala Muhammad and we will talk about that shortly but they differ of whether that should be in the first Tahiyat as well as the last one so there's a difference of opinion so meaning not to be make tashdeed on the people be difficult with the people but generally I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, the most correct is not to use, is not to make the, so after you make the, in the tashahid al-awwal, that you end at what we just, we did. Not Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. Not the, the Salat al-Ibrahimiyya. And that's what the majority of the scholars uh, say. <clears throat> and that's, that's the madhab of the Jumhur, the Hanafiyya, Malikiyya, wa Hanabila, wa Shafi'iyya. Uh, and that's also from a group of the Salaf also held this and some even ruled that there's an ijma on that so that lets it know it's very clear for us what we need to say in the Tashahud al-awwal so the scholars they differ with regards to the uh, or the Jalus li Tashahud al-akhir the sitting for the the second tashahud uh, is a rukun from the arkan of salat, and with that being the case, then uh, it is a must that one does that fi uh, tashahud al akhir because it is a rukun and the ijma of the ulama, uh, the the scholars they uh, agree with this. Uh, with regards to the kafiyah or how, so similar as we said in the Tashahud al awwal atahiyatu lillahi, on to the to the rest of it, uh, and then the only difference, and the scholars do differ with regards to the Salat al Ibrahimiyah, but we're just going to tell you what to say, uh, without getting to the ikhtilafat, and that you should say it, you should definitely say it. Uh, 